Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. But before you let me know in the comments, come here, come closer, come closer. Mm. Don't get scared, I'm all love. But subscribe to the channel and give a damn like. It is not gonna take you more than one second. So give a like, subscribe and enjoy the content. State versus state is over guys and I'm super pissed because they changed the mechanic of state versus state. Yesterday it was just 45 minutes to cross a state. It was a bug in the first place so in the first minutes you couldn't even cross. And now you only have to 45 minutes at the beginning of the capital of before capital starts to cross the state. If you didn't cross a state during the, those 45 minutes then you were screwed. You couldn't cross the state anymore to attack the other people. That's ridiculous, guys. If they are reducing or minimizing the funniest part or the more fun part of state versus state, it is going to be like a, a big, big like complaint from the players because a state versus state is mostly fun because, yeah, you are fighting other enemies, but at the same time, because you can go to the enemy territory, territory people that you don't or actually play with and uh, you have a lot of new players and you can actually plunder resources test your power have fun killing troops and stuff and then get getting 90 percent of those back now if you are reducing the time to 45 minutes and this is not the new state versus state so can you imagine the new one which lasts just like one hour it is gonna be super boring because the only people who are gonna have fun is the people who are fighting for the capital, which are the strongest players. Not everybody's having fun killing like troops in buildings, you know? Just like throwing rallies, waiting five minutes, then staying in, in self-rally position, calling the rally, filling the rallies. Not everybody's having fun doing that. So if you are removing the, uh, which is which I think is the, the best part of state versus state, I think it is going to have a big pushback, so I'm not happy with that. But I managed somehow to cross that uh, first like 45 minutes like gap and to cross the state and I murdered the state. I murdered one alliance completely. I'm going to post the video. I actually ranked super good in the top 50. I lost, let's see how many troops I lost. Uh, every time I lose it more and more. I lost my T11s, my precious T11s. So almost seven, 700,000, 700,000, yeah, 700,000 troops. So almost 1 million troops. No, not bad. I run 48. And the benefits of waiting to unlock your T11s, guys. If you go here, I also rank good, you know, here in the power spring. So I got the first rank, I got 20,000 bio caps. So if you add up that to the rewatch from a state versus a state where are they yeah this one thousand one thousand hundred thousand here but i think that i got even better rewards for my rank for the the the, the rank that i got in in the in the war stage so so yeah i'm pissed because of that guys because sometimes people don't have the time to cross the state in the first 45 minutes so if you eliminate the other side which was usually when capital ended and you also have like an extra hour to cross the state. So where is the fun then? There is no fun anymore. But leave, leaving that aside, look at this. I have my T11s here. I'm not going to join rallies with my T11s. Now we are going to pass to the second part of the video. You are telling me now you would realize how painfully they are to up, to unlock or to upgrade or, or to like train T11s, the resources. I don't have resources problem. I have 4 billion resources here. I plunder a lot yesterday. That's what you have state versus state for. And then, yeah, it is a pain in the ass to upgrade all the, T11, the T10s to T11s. But guys, there is no rush. I don't know why you have this rushing mentality. For example, when you unlock your T11s, you want automatically all your, all your T10s converted into T11s. Like, there is a big rush. There is no rush, guys. Yeah, it is fun to have a lot of T11s to defense attack, especially during Reservoir Raid or Mayhem event. So you can attack people with T11s. But if you slowly train T11s, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly train. And when I have to, for example, gain points training troops, 
I'm gonna just do the upgrade. So when I have to do the upgrade, because if you do the upgrade, you are upgrading like 8,000 T11s per load. So what I'm gonna do is just maybe 10 of those. So it's almost 100,000 every time an event come out. So it is gonna take me maybe three months to go from completely T10s to all T11s. And I don't have any rush, guys. I don't know why you like rush to rush everything, you know? You are like, well, wow, once you unlock the T11s, oh my God, resources and stuff. You are plundering every time, you are gathering. It's not that you have to, to turn all the T10s into T11s. If you were to do that, I guess it is a big problem. I guess most of the comments are coming from spenders because they like to rush and they want to turn all the T10s into T11s. Of course, it is gonna take you billions of resources and it's gonna take you a lot of speed ups. Yeah, if you're doing that in one day, two days, of course, yeah, you're gonna have like a big problem doing that. But if you're like me, just going slowly, doing it like without rushing, then you are gonna be all right. So I don't know what's the big thing. Now, leaving that aside, what else do we have here, guys? We have here rank up. I always tell you, save your fragments, save your fragments, guys. We cannot actually, for example, uh, recycle fragments here before you could. Now you cannot. So I'm gonna exchange this. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just finish to upgrade this hero. So, and I still have 700 fragments, guys. 700 fragments and my stats are decent. So let's do the upgrade to his heroes now. He's just here, my strongest hero. So. Yeah, let's see his stats, because my rider stats are not that good. But I'm just curious to see what my stats are. So yesterday I was attacking, just having fun. So let's see how my stats were. Yes, I was in Econ. So almost 1,600, my Hunter needs some work, of, of course. And I'm debating about whether or not to upgrade my Hunter. So here. Rider, oh, 1,600, my rider is in 1,600. Now I have to, to up the game with the, the infantry of the, the infantry and the, the hunter especially, you know? And I also need to upgrade my, my aircraft and stuff to have better stats. I'm aware of that. But remember guys, I still have a lot of resources saved. So I have resources to upgrade my gear. And I have, um, if you go here, uh, here as well to upgrade my gear in the hero gear and I have the, the aircraft. Where is the aircraft? If you go here. So I have resources to do to get some decent stats there. And if you put on the top of that, that I could just even go further with my heroes a little bit. It's not bad, right? I think that I'm going to do two more upgrades with this one just to get to the 1600 with infantry. And then I'm gonna start saving for the next generation. And because I realized that I just need like 200 fragments to get a very good ranking with these heroes. So it is not gonna like take me a lot of saving to, to get decent in, let's say my hunter hero and my infantry hero at the same time. So let's see how am I ranking here. So I'm ranking third place, not bad. Uh, let's see how, how, how far I am for the first place. I'm not that far from the first place. I could actually get 2,000, 20,000 bio caps again. Because if I go and upgrade one of these heroes, and yeah, let's see. Should I go? Oh, should I save? Should I save? Yeah, I'm gonna save for Survival of the Fittest and the other one because I think that I still have some fragments for this one. Where is that? For the new Hunter hero. Yeah, I still have some fragments for him. And this hero, actually, if I spend like, for example, 150 fragments in this hero, I'm gonna have a decent hunter hero as well. Maybe in the 11 million, 10 million. Let's see, my hunter hero is 8 million. And you know what? I might spend some fragments on this hero of maybe the new one. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I have to think about that. I don't like to take delivery like uh, decisions, but I will have to think about that. What else should we have? Can I join this? Oh, let's join this quick. We got good a chance of. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's let's see if we got the. Uh, if, uh, yeah, these are strong people. So, let's see if we bear, if we bear the record here. Yesterday I broke the record. I have like one. Yeah, here. Oh no, they broke the record again. Two minutes. So yesterday I was two sixteen. So the strategy for this soloing. So you have to solo, 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 and then you are gonna be alright. So. Lexi, come on, get in. 
Uh, we are ranking first. So first, nice rewards. Okay, nice. Let's see. Come on, child. Confirm. Oh, let's do this now that you are here, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Solo. Solo, solo. Okay, solo, right. So we are gonna solo. Yeah, come on, quick. I have to press equalizer, otherwise it is gonna send just infantry. And if you say just infantry, it's not, it's not good. It's not looking good, mate. Ah, this guy is slacking. Come on, guys, don't, don't slack. It's not looking good, mate. It's not looking good. So as soon as I hit the monster, I'm gonna port. I'm gonna throw four more marshes. It's not that I do big damage, but every damage counts. So here, 97, 95. When hard hits, she hits hard. She's strong. So here, okay. Now I'm gonna port. I'm gonna just here. Come on, let's go. Let's see if we kill this super quick under the two minutes. I don't think we're gonna make it under the two minutes, but at least three minutes. So as long as I make it under the three minutes, it's gonna be all right. I don't usually slide, uh, like spending relocators on this one, but if I have to spend one or two just to to get it done quicker, I'm okay. Especially if I'm good with good, good people, because what I don't like about this event is people quitting on the middle of the event. I hate that. I seriously hate that. You don't know how much I hate it. Okay, yeah, Harley. No, okay, I still have chance to attack. Come on. Uh, everybody's getting trapped. Yeah, hard place this event good. She's good like this. And she hits hard. So if you have a P10 which plays this event super good, or actually you can kill it quicker. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna get... Ah, I got... I hate when they got you. When they get you, when they're just releasing the, the tumors. It's just annoying. Ah, come on. It's too late. Too late. No, we are not gonna get it under three minutes, maybe. I have to eat quick. Come on. Okay, hard. No, yeah, come on, don't get hard. Ah, oh, she's, yeah, she ported it. She's good. Come on, kill it, kill it. Go hard. Go hardly, go hardly. Okay, and here I'm coming, here I'm coming. Boom. Mosquito bites. Boom. Come on. Let's go, come on. Mosquito bites. I think after this, if we all hit it, then it is gonna be dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be dead. It's gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead. Ah, come on. No, I thought it was gonna be one. Well, the next one. This one. After this hit. After this hit, done. Yeah, come on. Come on, Naksu. Ah, three minutes. It's gonna take three minutes. Yeah, we are coming. We are coming. I'm gonna kill it. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> Oh, uh, here, I might kill it. I might kill it. 2%. Come on, the last one. Yeah, I know. Hard kill it. So, nice. Let's see. Three minutes now. No, under three minutes. Not bad. So, I, I cannot do this again. I'm just doing one. And that's it. So, guys, I'm going to shut up this video here. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.